Psalm number 71, uh, verses 1 through 16. Amen. This is a psalm uh, uh, which includes uh, 24 verses, but we'll be reading only 16 verses. Amen. Psalm number 71, verses 1 through uh, 16. In you, O Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be to me a rock of habitation to which I may continually come. You have given commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the grasp of the wrongdoer and ruthless man. For you are my hope, O Lord God, you are my confidence from my youth. My, by you I have been sustained from my birth. You are he who took me from my mother's womb. My praise is continually of you. I have become a marvel to many, for you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day long. Do not cast me off in the time of old age. Do not forsake me when my strength fails. For my enemies have spoken against me, and those who watch for my life have consulted together, saying God has forsaken him. Pursue and seize him, for there is no one to deliver. O oh God, do not be far from me. O oh my God, hasten to my help. Let those who are adversaries of my soul be ashamed and consumed. Let them be covered with reproach and dishonor who seek to injure me. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and of your salvation all the day long for I do not know the sum of them. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. And uh, I mean, as we are gathering together to praise the name of the Lord, to listen to the word of God, I mean, uh, I would like to, I mean, uh, speak something uh, from uh, uh, this Psalm, uh, Psalm number 71. We are not uh, sure about the uh, order uh, of this Psalm. Uh, at the same time, it is commonly believed that uh, uh, this, I mean, uh, David is the writer or author of this, uh, I mean, Psalm, uh, because the previous Psalm, uh, number 70 is uh, written by David. It is there in the heading. So uh, I would like to just pick one uh, verse from this Psalm, uh, the verse number uh, 14, verse number 14. It says like this, but as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. Amen. So this is the verse which speaks about the uh, constant hope and constant thanksgiving constant hope and constant thanksgiving. You know, uh, but as we read uh, from the beginning verses of this, uh, I mean, Sam, uh, he is afraid of many things. He is afraid of many things like uh, uh, he is, I mean, feared about the shame, uh, which is in verse one. And also, and he is, I mean, uh, feared about uh, uh, the, the, the bad people, I mean, uh, who were getting the power over him. That is in the uh, verse number four. And also he feared the old age and the weakness, which is in uh, uh, verse number nine. And also he was fearful uh, about the words of his enemies because his enemies, I mean, said God has forsaken him and they made plans to attack him. That is from, I mean, verses 10 to 11. So when you read that the initial uh, verses of the Psalm, we understand that, I mean, David was many a times afraid of many things. He was afraid of many things. I mean, so he was thinking about, okay, okay, why these people are speaking against me? And he was thinking, why, I mean, I'm fearing about the shame. And, you know, I mean, there, there were many people uh, getting power over him. And, you know, he was, I mean, uh, I mean, worried about many things. And he was, I mean, I mean, fearing about many things. But uh, we understand that, you know, when we, when we come to the, I mean, verse 14, uh, verse 14, you know, it says that, I mean, he is encouraged with the presence of God. And we see a sudden and remarkable change in his attitude and thoughts. Amen. So now we understand that, I mean, in this verse, particular verse, it says that, but as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. That means continually. So what is happening here, even though he was sort of, he was fearful about many things in the, I mean, in the initial, I mean, verses here, when we come to the, I mean, 14th verse, he says that, 
I mean, as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you at more and more continually. Hallelujah. You know, this is this is a change and a change of attitude. You know, we have to understand that he is embraced by the presence of God. Hallelujah. This morning, as we are gathering together in the presence of God, even though we have many problems in our life, we have, even though we have I mean, many challenges in our life. Hallelujah. I mean, let us be encouraged with the presence of God this morning. And we see that David, I mean, I mean, the sudden and remarkable change in his attitude and thoughts. I mean, whenever we come to the presence of God, whenever we, I mean, trust in the Lord, whenever we pray and whenever we at attend a meeting, hallelujah, I mean, let our attitude, let our thoughts be changed and transformed in the presence of God, hallelujah. And we see here that, that the fears were all silenced. I mean, the fears were all silenced, the fears of David and his hopes raised. Hallelujah. He's, I mean, raising his hope and his prayers were turned into the thanksgiving. Hallelujah. His prayers were I mean, turned into the thanksgiving. He says, but as for me, I will hope continually and I will praise God for more and more continually. Hallelujah. This is the confidence of a, of, of a, of a man of God. This is the confidence of a, I mean, I'm a person who is, I mean, trusting and believing in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He took a decision of constant hope and constant praising. Even though he was going through many difficult situations, even though he was afraid of many things, hallelujah, he is taking his courage in God and saying that, okay, I'm taking a decision of constant hope and a constant praising. That means continually hoping in the Lord and continually praising the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the coming of hope is like a lightning, a candle in the darkness. I mean, the coming of the hope, when you have a hope that is just like a lightning, a candle in the darkness. I mean, so you, know, you have to understand one thing. The worldly people have a hopeless end. Amen. The worldly people have a hopeless end, but the people of God has an endless hope. This is very important to understand. Hallelujah. You know, we are here to worship the Lord and we are here to listen to the word of God and give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me ask you one thing. I mean, as, as, as an encouragement for, from this Sam, that mean, hallelujah, you know, when the worldly people, I mean, having a hopeless end, the people of God, I mean, the people, those who are trusting in the Lord, I mean, hallelujah, I mean, God, they have an endless hope. Amen. That's that's the reason in Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1, Hebrew chapter 11, verse 1, I mean, Paul says a particular verse in that verse. That, what is that? Now, faith is the assurance of things. What is faith? Faith is an assurance of things, hoped for, and conviction of things not seen. The faith is the assurance of things hoped for and conviction of things not seen. Hallelujah. Vishwasam, Yenado, Ashik Yenadende, Urapum, Karnata Karingalude, Nishevu Magadu. Hallelujah. So, what is the hope? What is the hope? Hope is a confident expectation of something good in future. Hallelujah. You may not be seeing anything in the future, but this morning, I mean, let me tell you one thing, let me encourage you one thing from this Sam. That, I mean, hope is the confidence of the expectation of something, I mean, good in the, in the future. Something is going to happen in the future. Hallelujah. Something good is coming, I mean, for the people of God, from the Almighty God, that is the expectation. Hallelujah. So this morning, we are expecting something good is going to happen in the future for the people of God. Hallelujah. That is called the hope, and that is called the faith of a person. Hallelujah. And that hope will strengthen us to expect great things from God. That hope will strengthen us, strengthen the people of God to expect great things, I mean, from God. Hallelujah. And that hope will strengthen us to give thanks unto the Lord forever and ever to praise the name of the Lord continually. Hallelujah. I mean, if you believe that, uh, I mean, if you have a hope in Jesus Christ, hallelujah, if you have a hope in the Father God, hallelujah, I mean, that will strengthen you. That will strengthen you to give thanks unto the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what uh, in 14th verse, uh, he says that, okay, I mean, if you have a hope, that will strengthen you to praise the name of the Lord 
continually all the days of your life. Hallelujah. So let me encourage each and every one of you. I mean, this morning, I mean, through the Psalms that, I mean, even if we are going through a very difficult situation in our life, I mean, hallelujah. Even though we are going through the challenges in our life, hallelujah, let us put our hope and trust in the almighty God and let us continually, I mean, praise God and expecting great deliverance and healing and transformation in our life in this morning. Hallelujah. And uh, may God bless you all through the exhortation of the Psalms and uh, shall we all, I mean, close our eyes in the presence of God. I mean, let's pray for a moment, hallelujah, in the presence of God as we were listening from the Psalms and exhortation, hallelujah. This is the time to, I mean, surrender our life in the presence of God, hallelujah. This is the time to, I mean, hope, I mean, in the, in, in, in the Lord. And this is the time to praise the name of the Lord, I mean, for everything that we have received in the presence of God, hallelujah. Shall we all clap our hands together and praise the name of the Lord for, the, for a while, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. We praise your name of God. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I mean, let us put all our I mean, hope in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us put all our trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. And let us give thanks unto the Lord for all the benefits of God which we have received from the Lord in the past days. Father, we thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, there are many challenges in our life, oh God, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, there are many difficult situations in our life, oh God. Lord, we believe that, hallelujah, we have that hope in the Lord, hallelujah, who is the almighty God, hallelujah. Amen. Help us to keep that hope in the Lord this morning, oh Lord, hallelujah. Help us to praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Help us to, I mean, bless the name of the Lord, amen. Help us to lift in the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Help us to glorify the name of the Lord this morning. I mean, I mean, continually from our lips of God. Hallelujah. We thank you and we thank you for everything that you have given to us of God. Hallelujah. We thank you for the Psalm number 71 of God. We thank you for um, the Psalm number 71 and verse 14, which says that, hallelujah, David says the Lord, of, oh Lord, I mean, I'm hoping in you, Lord, continually, and I'm praising you, Lord, continually. Hallelujah. Father, once again, we surrender the guest speaker in the mighty hand of God. Strengthen him, oh God. I mean, speak to, I mean, speak to him and so that uh, he will be speaking to us uh, God this morning. I mean, strengthen him, anoint him, oh God, hallelujah. I mean, pr I mean, pray for the blessing of the word of God this morning, oh God, hallelujah. We bless him in the name of Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit uh, as he is speaking from the word of God this morning, oh God, hallelujah. We give everything in the mighty hand of God. Thank you for hearing your prayer, God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.